Okay, so sometime back, I made a video about how to grow your YouTube impressions, and we talked about CTR and a lot of things inside that video. And apparently that video caused a little bit of confusion because a lot of people wrote to me with the same kind of question. You were asking me that my CTR is high or I have a really great uh, click-through rate ratio on my YouTube videos, but my channel is still not growing. And over and over and over again, I got this question, which made me realize that I need to make a follow-up video to clarify why a high CTR is not necessarily enough to grow your YouTube channel and which other metric is crucial to YouTube growth in conjunction with a high CTR. So we we'll dive into what that metric is and how to get there. Are you ready? Hey Go-Getter, it's Salma Jafri, and I'm gonna help you grow your visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube. So if that's what you wanna do, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon and let's begin. This video is sponsored by Hot Content. Natalie and her team at Hot Content help busy YouTube creators get their videos planned, published, repurposed, and promoted so they can focus on what they do best, creating great videos and growing their businesses. Natalie recently helped her client double their subscribers, save more time, and quadruple their income. And she can help you do the same. Just record your YouTube video and leave the uploading, optimization, and promotion to Natalie. Every client I've referred to Natalie has absolutely loved working with her. Check out Hot Content today to get 50% off your first month on any of these services. There are two different kinds of CTR metrics that are tracked inside your YouTube analytics. Now, one of them is the channel-wide CTR metric. So it shows you your click-through rate for your entire channel, and you can segment that by number of days, weeks, months, or years. The other kind of CTR metric is per video. And that is really the metric that you want to focus on because the, the per video CTR is what's going to help you improve over time with each successive video that you create. Okay, so let's get into how to improve our per video CTR, which will automatically improve our channel-wide CTR as well. I'm gonna walk you through three different scenarios. And in each scenario, you will see the relationship between CTR and impressions. Okay, so scenario number one is if you get an initial high CTR, let's say in your first 24 to 48 hours after your video release, it means that your subscribers are clicking your video. Okay, but if your retention rate is not high, then the video will not perform well. This will lead to a high CTR, but fewer watch time hours, which means that YouTube will assume that people who clicked are not enjoying your video. And so it's not gonna show your video to more and more people. And so impressions will not increase. In fact, you will most likely hit a plateau. So in scenario one, you've probably done a really good job with your title and thumbnail combination, which is why CTR is high in the first 40, uh, 48 hours, but you've probably not done a very good job with keeping people engaged, which is why your watch time is low and, and your retention is low. So your video is not going to perform well and you're not going to get that impressions increase. Okay, let's move on to scenario number two. Now you release a video which has a high CTR again in the first couple of hours, which means that your current audience is clicking on your title and thumbnail combination. The video's watch time is also high, meaning that you are holding people's attention and doing what YouTube wants you to do, which is to keep people watching. Great job. Now YouTube is going to start to test out your video with different audiences. So let's say audience one, audience two, and audience three. Let's assume audience one loves your th thumbnail and title combination and clicks, CTR goes up. But audiences two and three represent different types of YouTube audiences and they don't click, thus lowering your CTR while increasing your impressions. 
So your video is getting wider distribution, but CTR is lower because the denominator is larger. I just used a math term there. Let me quickly explain that. So the simple math here is if one out of two people click on your video, then that's a 50% CTR. But if only one out of 10 people click on your video, then that's only a 10% CTR. So the more the denominator increases, the lower your CTR is. So in this scenario, we can see that it's good that YouTube is testing out different audience profiles to show your video to because that is how you grow your channel. And so some people are enjoying your videos and others are not. And this kind of growth will be reflected in a slow growth trajectory. So even though you might have a high CTR, but impressions are not going to suddenly skyrocket. Views are not going to suddenly skyrocket because only a small portion of the YouTube audience is interested in that video. Now, this could be due to your topic selection. Maybe your topic is very niche. Maybe it's very specific. Maybe it's too niche. So that could be a sign that you might need to broaden your YouTube topic selection if you are faced with scenario number two. And next is scenario number three. So what happens in this? So this is the perfect scenario when a video CTR is fluctuating or high, the impressions, views and watch time are constantly increasing. This is because YouTube success is not defined by a single metrics, which is why it's so tricky to do well on this platform because there's so many variables that go into a well-performing video. Okay, so here's what YouTube has to say about why does my video have a high click-through rate and average view duration, but low impressions? So YouTube says that while creators compare other videos within their channel, YouTube systems rank each video against all the other videos that a viewer might watch. So even if a video is performing well compared with other videos, it may be that videos from other channels are just performing better than your video. It's also common for videos with fewer impressions and views to have higher click-through rates and average view duration. This is because they are being seen by a narrower, more loyal audience. So while comparing video performance, keep in mind that the data may be more reflective of the differences in audience. So YouTube success is really all about understanding how all of these different metrics work together to give your audience an awesome viewing experience. And don't worry if you are not a maths person, you really, really just need to focus on one thing. You need to focus on making content that a very specific audience will love and keep coming back to watch so that YouTube can identify other similar audiences to show your video to. So that is the really, really simple version of how to grow on YouTube. The more you understand who you're creating videos for, the more the technical aspects are gonna take care of themselves. Get your audience piece dialed in and let me refer you to watch this video next for exactly learning how to do that.